this chapter, we're going to talk about how to fill the empty space inside of your model. Furniture can be approached the same way as walls. Measure an object that you already have that you want to use in the space, or use standard measurements that you find online. Approach the measurements exactly the same way as you would a room. Look at each surface separately. Think of your furniture as a sum of simple shapes and fill in the details from the basic measurements. When constructing furniture, choose materials that you think will intuitively work for the object you are making. This chair was constructed entirely of matboard. Matboard is commonly used because it can be cut, painted, and even sanded. Often you can make furniture from the scrap pieces you have left over after cutting walls. However, like most things involving models, you can use any material that will work for your purposes. Some common alternative materials are paper, hobbywood, small dowels, sculpie, and poster board. The interior of this model was constructed with a variety of material found around the house, including felt, paper towels, toilet paper, poster board, and sculpie clay. Once you have cut out the pieces, it is time to assemble your furniture. Use the appropriate glue from the materials you are using. I use tacky glue most often. It is very affordable, easily obtainable, grabs quickly, and works on all paper and wood surfaces. There are many, many methods for finishing the details, but for this introduction, I would encourage you to simply experiment. Paint the furniture in a water-based paint of your choosing, or leave it white if the finish isn't important for your purposes. Sand corners to round them, or leave them square. Here is an image of the same chair in a different finish. These final details make all of the difference in the feel of the object. Try different things. Have fun with it. Try this suggested technical exercise. Using the model of the room you constructed in previous chapters, create an intervention in the space. Try placing to scale furniture and or people in the room. Try adding an unexpected sculptural element or an object that does not belong. Don't overthink it. Again, don't be afraid to experiment with technique.